Y'all, this is ridiculous, okay? I need to do laundry. I don't feel like doing laundry, but I need to do laundry. And I'm looking for my laundry basket, and I can't find it because it got last week's laundry still in it. I mean, I did last week's laundry, and I folded last week's laundry, but I didn't put last week's laundry away. Like, I need to get it together. <laughs> I need to get it together. Okay, so... Let me do laundry again. And this time, let's try to put all the laundry away. How about that? Okay. Making our Christmas memories. Okay, you guys. So I got my laundry going. <laughs> Today, I'm not only going to fold it, I'm going to put it away. Okay. It's just one of those things. Y'all have stuff. I know everybody do have stuff that y'all got to do, but you don't really like doing it. I know I'm not the only one that will do my laundry and fold it up and be like, I'll put it away later and later never comes. So anyway, I'm going to do that today. I got a lot of stuff I need to do today. I need to put all of those boxes somewhere that all my Christmas stuff came out of because that is like driving me insane. So I need to figure out where I'm going to put all those boxes. Um, I need to do some editing today because I need to edit that makeup video that I did. Um, I need to finish editing a vlog that I'm working on currently that you guys are probably going to watch. <laughs> and I need to figure out what I'm going to do to get back on track on Instagram because on Instagram... I've really, really been slacking. I don't know what it is for me when I try to focus hard on one thing. I don't know how these content creators do it when they do TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube. I'm not even on Twitter, Facebook. When they do all of them at the same time, I just I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. So, yeah, right now I'm trying to focus on this vlog thing and seeing, you know, if it's something that people really like from me, if I should keep doing it, but I'll always do the makeup videos. It's just, I have to like squeeze them in periodically when I feel like doing them because I really, really did kind of get burnt out doing the makeup tutorials and videos and stuff. And with hauls, it's like, I love shopping. Y'all know I love shopping and I love makeup, but you know, after a while, you have to take a break because it just begins to get to be too much. You know, if you don't have a lot of stuff that you're decluttering, it is too much. You know, it's already too much as it is. But if you're not rotating it enough, then it's just, it becomes overwhelming. At least for me, it does. You know, I have a lot of stuff and I can handle the amount of stuff that I have right now and still love it. But it can be a, a bit much um, I did grab the Juvia's Place skincare items, some of them. She came out with a lot of stuff and I didn't buy everything, but I bought specific products that I wanted to try out. And so I did try it out last night, first time, first impression, um, taking off the makeup that I had on yesterday, the purple eye look. And so just my first impression thoughts, let me just run through. Okay, so... Um, the first item that I used was, child, where are my glasses? So the first item that I used was the Let's Melt It Off Cleansing Balm. And, uh, I just, right off top, I'll say it's not my favorite cleansing balm. I've used a few cleansing balms and I would say this one was probably, um, it worked. I won't say it didn't work. It worked. I mean, clearly you could see it took off um, or it loosened up my makeup. But as far as cleansing balms go for me, this would be like the last one that I would pick up. I mean, even my e.l.f. one, I feel like, you know, loosened up my makeup, especially my eye makeup and stuff, even more than this. So it works. It felt very gentle and very nice on the skin but yeah it definitely would not be my first choice as far as if i was reaching for a, a makeup melting balm 
it works not my absolute favorite uh, what did I use next oh the cleanser so the let's melt it off gel cleanser uh, the bottle is really pretty packaging really pretty I'll give I'll give them points for packaging because absolutely gorgeous but with this I know it's a gel cleanser and it's just you know to melt off and cleanse your face which it did um uh, it didn't lather enough for me I don't know when I'm actually washing my face with a cleanser I need that lather I you know some people don't like all of that lather and soap and stuff I do. I like a good lather. And this, while it did cleanse my skin nicely, it just, I don't know. I need that lather, okay? And it didn't lather enough for me. So that wouldn't be my first choice in cleanser either. You know, definitely going to use it because it works and I bought it. But it wouldn't be the first thing that I picked up to wash my face with. Now, next, I did use the glycolic toner. This is 10% glycol glyconic, gly girl. This is 10% glycolic <laughs> toner. Love the packaging, beautiful pink packaging. And I like the little push top. It's not necessary for me because, you know, sometimes I'm just sitting there, pump, pump, pump. But um it's cool it's very cool it makes it easy to use you know i guess is it more sanitary doing it that way i don't know but anyway this stuff burnt my skin um and it could just be because you know my pores were open and my skin was sensitive because i had just taken my makeup off and washed my face or whatever it didn't burn my skin like literally burn my skin i felt it burning i felt it tingling i felt it burning and I mean, that's cool or whatever, you know, because of what it is, but, um, I don't know. I wouldn't use this like a lot just because of the fact that, you know, it did burn my skin. Now I will say when I woke up this morning, my skin did feel super duper soft and nice and supple and all that good stuff. Okay. But yeah, just heads up i feel like it's a good toner it i feel like it's a good toner it really is um but if you if your skin is very sensitive and you can't handle like any type of little little bit of burning stinging little tingling you might not want to use this at least not right after you wash your face now what i'm going to do with this i'm going to wash my face again you know let some time pass maybe 30 minutes an hour or so and then try this out and see how my skin feels. Maybe I might not even feel it at that point. Just because of the fact that, you know, my skin was freshly washed. But that's typically when people are going to use their skincare is, you know, right after they wash their face. So I can handle it. Once again, not my favorite. Next, I use the Glow C Elixir. 20% um, vitamin C. And cute little box and cute little bottle too um this was nice it was interesting i'm assuming that there's some type of oil in here because it felt like i was putting like um you know a oil a very light skincare oil on my face um so that's what it looks like not sure i would have to read the ingredients let me see if i can check it out right quick so this is supposed to help uh, signs of aging hyperpigmentation and dark spots uh where is it i don't see the ingredients on here i guess i would have to look it up online oh no right here propanadiol ascorbic acid alpha arbutin i don't know what arbutin is um and maybe it was just because of the fact that I had just cleansed my skin. But yeah, it definitely, I don't know. It's just something about it. It feels like there's an oil in here. So, and it doesn't smell like anything, you guys. I was thinking it would smell kind of citrusy or whatever. But yeah, no, it doesn't smell like anything. Um, It feels really, really nice. It feels really nice on the skin. I do just feel like 
there's some type of a light oil in here. And, you know, typically I don't like to put oil on my face. I just don't. That's just me. Nothing wrong with it. I know it's good for your skin, those lighter oils and stuff, but I just don't. So it would take some getting used to for me. I'm definitely going to use this because I feel like it did have my skin feeling nice and soft. And if it truly does work with hyperpigmentation and dark spots, your girl is going to use it, okay? Because I definitely have, you know, dark circles, hyperpigmentation. So I will try it out. Now, my favorite item this last item here that I put on, this box drives me crazy because they put white writing on this super light box, which makes it so hard for me to read. This is the Peptide and Ceramide Cream. Absolute favorite out of all the products I tried. Hands down my favorite. I am definitely going to be using this, putting it in my bathroom, putting it on my nightstand. First of all, Look at this cute little packaging, you guys. It is so freaking cute. It's so cute. It does feel a little cheap, little cheap, little plasticky. So it's not like it's heavy or nothing and ooh, nice glass. No, it feels a little cheapy, but <laughs> it's cute though. It really is. It's cute and I like it. This stuff here, you know, comes with a little applicator, which I don't need because I use my nails for everything. But child, this stuff, oh. And all of their skincare stuff, it really doesn't smell like anything to me. So I'm assuming it's unscented because it don't smell like anything. But yes, absolute favorite out of all of the products that I tried. Yo, when I put this stuff on, it was like, it just, it's like it immediately started absorbing into my skin. I didn't feel like it sat on my skin at all. It just, it felt amazing. And even after I put it on, it felt amazing. When I woke up this morning, my skin felt amazing. So I don't know what they put in this stuff or child, but I like it. I like it. I like it. I think I'm going to buy me a backup <laughs> just in case they sell out or stop selling it or whatever because I love this stuff. It is really, really good. So anyway, uh, yeah, let me just lay this out. But yeah, out of all the products that I tried, my favorite is this moisturizer for sure. It is amazing. I would say the serum, the Glossy Elixir um, would be my second favorite. Then I would say the toner because I do like the toner. I don't mind a little tingle, a little burn or whatever every now and then, but that would be third. And then the cleanser and then the melt off makeup remover. So yeah, those are just my thoughts on these products. But yeah, I, um, I'm really glad that I did try them out. I love trying out new skincare and seeing if I could find new things that work well for me or that I really like. Um, and you know, Juvie's Place, black owned business, um, love to support. So anywho, I think I'm going to do my voiceover for this video, finish editing, and then maybe we'll get into some other stuff a little later. I just, your girl got to do a lot of cleaning and stuff. I need to get my life together. Okay, you guys, so I decided I wanted to make some spaghetti tonight. So I went digging through the cabinets <laughs> before I start ordering groceries and I found some spaghetti sauce. I like the hunt. It's affordable. It's cheap. It's easy for, you know, making some quick pasta. And so I found some spaghetti sauce and I also got this angel hair pasta. You know, ours is just State of Brothers, honey. It's all the same to me. But we like angel hair pasta more than the regular spaghetti noodles. So I found some angel hair pasta and then I found some ground turkey in the freezer, some ground beef. So I have this stuff in here just thawing for a few hours. And then I also pulled out some Polish sausage because I like to chop up sausage in my spaghetti. So I think I should be good for dinner tonight. I still have some um, cornbread, so that'll work out perfectly. 
I found the skirt to my tree, you guys. I was putting the rest of the decorations away and I found the skirt that I was looking for. I still haven't found the bows that go on my tree, so we're still dealing with bulbs and icicles, but um, I found this little skirt, so it's so cute. It just has a cute little snowman on there, some trees. So I'm gonna put this, of course, on the bottom of my tree. And I think I'm gonna finish my nativity set today, but I really, really need to edit, so. Well, you can't really see the design all that well because the tree is fairly large, but I think it's still cute. Um, it does help to kind of complete the look of the tree. It's a big tree, you guys. But yeah, so that's it. That is my tree skirt. And now I guess I just have to go and buy some presents. Hey, snowman. What's happening, Frosty? You guys, am I ever gonna find my way back in here? I haven't been in here in a minute, okay? In a minute. My poor little workout room. I ain't got no excuse, and it's set up too. You know, I got my little elliptical. I got my treadmill, you know. Got my little bike, my little stretch bands. <sighs> I don't wanna be one of those new year, new me people, but honey, that's exactly what it's about to be. New year, new me, because <laughs> ah. anyway, yeah, we'll be back in here in a minute.
Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's good. I don't know why she did that. Really? Just making sure. She's been making this for me for 14 years. Good morning, you guys. So, um, I ordered some coffee last night <laughs> from the grocery store for delivery this morning. I don't know. I guess I was really in the mood for some like iced coffee or cold coffee. And so I was just perusing through the State of Brothers, you know, website and decided to try some different coffee drinks. And so, yeah, I have all of this coffee. This sounds good. So I'm going to try this with one of these you know, cold brew coffees this morning. This one here, vanilla sweet cream. Ooh, that sounds good too. Okay, so I'm gonna make up some kind of concoction and we're going to have some delicious iced coffee goodness this morning, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't know, I must've really been wanting coffee last night because why did I order all of this? The Starbucks, um, what is this one? I think this one was the the cold brew sweet vanilla Starbucks. And then I added a little bit of the white chocolate creamer from Starbucks in here. And then of course, the little whipped cream and chocolate and caramel drizzle, which I think that added that little bit of necessary sweetness that I needed because had I not added the whipped cream and a little bit of chocolate and caramel drizzle. I probably would have had to add a little bit of sweetener to it. Just because I have a horrible sweet tooth. So, I like my coffee sweet. So, yeah. This is perfect. If I just made it without all the foo-foo and frou-frou, I would have had to add like a pack of Splenda or something to it. Just to sweeten it up a little bit. But other than that, it's tasty, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and finish my breakfast. Watch the news. See how cold it's going to be out here in Riverside. Um, we also have a special guest over there. Making sure everything is safe on the home front. I don't know if you can see him, but Bosco's over there. <laughs> Protected the house. <laughs> Hey, over there protecting the house, honey. Making sure I'm safe and sound. <sighs> that boy.